a memorial complex consisting of the steel of Tony Cook the Wise, who served as an advisor to three successive Hans of the Turkic Haganate, and the place of sacrifice is located northwest of Bainzacht Mountain in Irtensum, Toemuk, 66 kilometers southeast of Ulaanbaatar city. The complex is put under special protection. Alongside two inscriptions, there is an engraved stone platform at Kurgan Stele with its top bar broken, small standing stones, pottery, bricks, and an irrigation system located at the site. Due to being worn down by years of exposure to the wind and sun, as well as damages, some parts are noticeably darker. There are 62 road inscriptions on eight sides of the two monuments. For instance, while the 217 centimeters tall first inscription monument has 37 rows of inscription, the second one that stands 243 centimeters tall has rows 38 to 62, with the inscription saying, but should a people ruled by a Kagan in any land whatever have only worthless men at its head, what misfortune would it not be for it? For the Turkish billiard Kagan's people, I have had this written. I, the wise Tony Cook, it proves that the inscriptions were made when he was still alive. Researchers have also found that the inscription tells about the social situation of that time from Tony Cook's viewpoint. Born of the Ashina noble family, from which most powerful aristocrats and noblemen of the Turkic Haganate were originated, Tony Cook the Wise lived between the years of 646 to 732. After serving as an advisor for Kapagan Han and Kutlu Khan, he continued to work under Bilge Han until his death at the age of 86. The Turkic Haganate was a ruling empire in Central Asia in 552 to 745. Researchers have been conducting studies on the steel of Tony Cook since 1897. It is believed that the monument was erected between 720 and 734. In the framework of a Tika project on the protection and restoration of Turkic monuments in Mongolia, fences have been constructed for the 1300-year-old steel's complex, providing protection.